This is a computer, the most important invention of the 20th century. Before it was used for online content consumption, home word processing, command line programs, and simple arithmetic operations, it was just an idea in the minds of a few visionaries. Countless principles critical to the modern computer originated from the ideas and inventions of a German civil engineer named Konrad Zuse. While studying civil engineering in 1934, Sousa first had the idea of a mechanical device that could automate complex calculations, specifically statics calculations that took hours to do by hand. In 1936, Sousa quit his job as a design engineer and began work on the first ever binary computer in his parents' Berlin apartment. The prototype, later named the Z1, was completed in 1938 and was made up of 20,000 separate components. Numbers were input on a keyboard and processed by a program on punch tape, and the results were displayed on an output console. It was built completely from scratch, unaware of the internals of calculators of the time, which were based on the decimal system and used rotating components. Sousa developed a completely new binary-based mechanical system that used metal switches. Rather than having ten different states, switches could be in one of two states, on or off. The computer was composed of several units. An arithmetic unit consisted of mechanical switches arranged in logic gates that could perform operations on numbers, like addition and multiplication. The memory unit was where up to 64 numbers were stored as floating point numbers in a modern binary representation invented by Zuse. In this system, a number is stored in base 2, or binary, and broken down into a mantissa, which is a number storing significant digits, and an exponent. It's similar to scientific notation. This could be used to mechanically represent numbers of varying magnitudes with both an integer and fractional part, as opposed to just integers. In this simplified example, the number 18.25 is encoded on these switches. The mantissa is equivalent to this decimal, and the exponent is 5. The actual number this sequence of bits represents is the mantissa times the base, 2, to the exponent. Additionally, Sousa's machine could be programmed through a set of eight different instructions encoded as 8-bit numbers on punch tape. One instruction would move a value from the memory into one of the two registers in the arithmetic unit. Four of the instructions were arithmetic operations. For example, the addition instruction would add the two numbers in the registers and output the result to the first register, R1. Another instruction would output and display the number in the R1 register on the output console, which was a board of lights. The Z1 was the first modern computer, operating on the principles of programmability and binary processing. Sousa's next two iterations, the Z2 and Z3, completed in 1939 and 1941, replaced the mechanical processor and memory with more efficient electromechanical relays salvaged from old telephones. Also in 1941, he founded the first ever computer startup company, eventually named Zuza KG. Meanwhile, Zuza was dealing with the challenges presented by World War II. He was called to serve in the army in 1939. The Z1 through 3 were destroyed in air raids, and Zuza was forced to flee Berlin in 1945 with the nearly complete Z4. After a period of forced inactivity, Sousa's company was revitalized in 1950 when the Z4 was installed in the Technical University of Zurich, becoming the first ever commercial computer in operation. After this, Sousa KG was successful, producing dozens more models, including the commercially successful Z23 that used transistors. The company was sold in 1962. Conrad Sousa developed the first modern computer with limited resources and in isolation from the rest of the world, many years before similar developments would take place elsewhere. But he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and his machines weren't discovered by the outside world until the late 1940s. Sousa never received the credit he truly deserved as the inventor of the computer.